Joining me now is Pauline Hanson's Chief of Staff, James Ashby. Uh, James, happy Australia Day to you. I presume you're not going to be offended by that. Too bad if you are. But uh, no. let me start <laughs> no, with this Gloria. news. There's a, there, yeah, sorry, mate, we'll, we'll get into it. I, I just want to get into this flag ban. And no, they haven't banned the Australian flag, much to the left's disappointment. But the Russian flag, the Belarusian flag, and now the letter Z has been banned from tennis courts at the Aussie Open. Now, James, fans were wearing this during Novak Djokovic's match. Is he tied to this? And what's your view on flag banning? Oh, look, it's... Um, I, I'm not a big fan of banning things, number one, especially at uh, uh, tournaments where you're up against various different countries. But there is a fine line, and I think when you've got a Russian flag with the face of... Vladimir Putin uh, in the centre of it. I think that is designed to create some animosity between other fans that might be there representing another country and, and take objection to what uh, the Russians are doing. Uh, but th the big thing that I look at is uh, Djokic's uh, father should have been more sensible about whether he got his photo taken with this flag. I've seen politicians before have to deal with similar situations where someone will come up with FTP uh, written up against on their skin. And, of course, most of us know what that means. And you just have to be sensible and say, no, 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 I'm not getting my photo taken with you because it's going to spark some controversy. Obviously, I hate politics in any sport. I hate it when cricketers take the knee. I don't like it when, uh, you know, sportsmen decide they've got to wear gay rainbow flags on their jerseys and that sort of thing. I don't think there's a call for these flags to be used. Anyone who's seen the footage would know very well they were inappropriate for this match. Yeah, I think that's true. And if, but if you're going to extend the whole principle about flag banning, I mean, Lydia Thorpe declared or said that basically, you know, she was at war with the rest of Australia today. Should we ban the Aboriginal flag mm. as well? Well, of course not. Um, you, look, you, you can't take the stupidity of one woman and make out that she stands for every Aboriginal in, in this country. Look, I believe we've only got one flag that represents Australians, and that is the flag that I fly in my house every single day of the year. The Aboriginal flag does not apply to me. It doesn't apply to Torres Strait Islanders. But to suggest banning the Aboriginal flag altogether because of the stupidity of uh, one senator from the Greens, no, I don't think that's appropriate either, Corey. Yeah. I agree with you. All right, there are calls for Aussies to get a vote on changing Australia Day. This is their next campaign. But do you think it could actually be a good thing because it would end the debate one way or another? Yeah, well, we all know there's a constitutional referendum coming up very shortly uh, to take the thermometer test or the litmus test to change the constitution on whether or not we introduce a voice to parliament. Perhaps we've got to ask a second question here, whether or not we want to officially register in our constitution a day for Australia being Australia Day. And I think if they asked Australians at this upcoming referendum whether you support Australia Day on the 26th of January each year, I believe that you would get an overwhelming response of yes from Australians. It would then therefore be written into our constitution and could not be changed or debated each year. I'm thinking to myself today, thank God today is the last day we're going to have this debate probably for another 330 days. <laughs> You're exactly right. I like that idea too. So I look forward to Pauline putting that forward through the parliament.